doctors welcome to my channel ITG Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish and today I have brought uh, my uh, original problem <laughs> I woke up in the middle of night and I made this problem with a sleepy head turns out that it's not that difficult to problem so but still it's instructive so let's see let's have a look at the problem so here's the problem uh, a man is trying to pull two identical cylindrical rollers with help of a string attached to the lower roller so there is this is the uh, roller and we have a string uh, going tangentially like this and he's trying to pull on this string and there's another roller which is just in touch with this and there's no friction between the rollers and when this roller moves up obviously this roller will also move up move up because of constraint okay so there is no friction between the rollers but the friction coefficient between the inclined rollers and the feet of the man are indicated as shown so here the coefficient of friction is mu here the coefficient of friction is 2 mu and here the coefficient of friction is 3 mu okay okay the mass of the rollers and the man is m each. So this, this and this, all the three half mass m. Calculate the minimum value of mu for the pulling to be possible and we don't want any slipping to happen. So uh, we want just that they should be able to move without slipping. So what should be the minimum value of mu? Okay. So I hope the question is clear. If you want, you can give it a try. I'll get into my analysis right away. Okay, let's see. Now, uh, What's the main idea? The main idea is to find the frictional forces on all the three and normal reactions are easy to find. See this uh, in this direction if you see uh, the in this direction force balance tells you that this normal reaction is also mg cos theta. This normal is also mg cos theta and this normal is also mg cos theta. So if I can somehow find out all these three frictions uh, in the limiting case when it is just about to move up if I can find out the fric required frictional forces for moving up then I can just find out the re required coefficients of friction that is friction divided by normal reaction that's the minimum possible value of the coefficient of friction that's what I'm going to do and then uh, we see uh, the intersection of the required uh, bounds okay let's see so I'm considering the combined free body diagram of these two rollers so we have let's say this tension is F so what's the torque of F about point P so this torque is uh, F into 2R right so F into 2R, this must be balanced by mg sin theta and mg sin theta. That makes it 2mg sin theta into R, okay? And of course, their normal reaction in mg cos theta, normal and mg cos theta are balanced. So I'm not worrying about their torques. So that straight away gives me the required force, minimum required force for pulling it upwards must be mg sin theta. Okay? So that's equation one. Now I can also find the normal reaction between the cylinders by considering the FBD of the cylinder B alone. So if you look at the roller B, then let's say this is normal reaction N and there is mg sin theta. So if you take the torque about the bottommost point once again, so what you can write N into R, that should be equal to mg sin theta into R. So that gives you normal reaction also as mg sin theta. Okay. So I know the normal reaction, I know the friction, uh, the, uh, the pulling force over here. Now I will try to find out the frictional forces. Let's say this friction is F1, this is F2 and this is F3. Okay. So for this one, if I consider the FBD in this direction, so there is capital F working there and there is small f1, let us say frictional force and then there is mg sin theta, right? So I can say and this normal reaction, okay? So f1 is upwards and capital F is upwards and normal reaction is acting backwards here. So minus n and this should be uh, balancing the mg sin theta, okay? So that gives us, we have already found capital F and n, so just put in the values, you get F1 as mg sin theta. So here the required frictional force is mg sin theta. Now for the second roller, so there is normal reaction in this direction and there is, let's say F2 is the friction in this direction. So F2 plus n should be balancing the mg sin theta. Okay? So that gives you F2 equal to zero. Surprisingly, no friction over here. Okay. Just the normal reaction is sufficient to keep it balanced. Okay. So no friction uh, force on here. And now I can talk about the man. So on man, there is a capital F acting here. Let's say F3 is the friction and this mg sin theta. So I can say that mg sin theta plus capital F, that should be equal to F3. And that gives me F3 is equal to 2 mg sin theta. Okay. And of course, as I told you, normal reaction, this is also mg cos theta, mg cos theta and mg cos theta. Okay. So all three normal reactions are mg cos theta. Okay. So now you know that frictional force must be less than or equal to mu times normal reaction, right? So what does that give me? So bound on mu, I can find out. So mu one, that time that's given as mu. So this mu should be greater than F1 by N1 and F1 by N1, if you see, F1 is mg sin theta and N is mg cos theta. So mu one should be greater than tan theta, okay? 
so this frictional force must be uh, here the coefficient of friction must be greater than tan theta okay now what about this place this place there's no requirement of friction so this is we don't worry about this f2 and what about here here the mu should be greater than f3 upon n3 so mu3 should be greater than f3 by n3 and uh, how much is f3 by n3 see f3 came out to be 2 mg sin theta and n3 is of course mg cos theta so this mu uh, here should be greater than 2 tan, 2 tan theta but this mu is also 3 mu so this gives us mu should be greater than 2 by 3 tan theta right so here the bound on mu is coming out to be 2 by 3 tan theta and here the bound on mu is coming out to be tan theta so whichever is the stricter bound we go for that so that means we, sh we the mu should be greater than uh, tan theta so that's our required answer that's the intersection of all these three conditions so from 7 8 9 we choose the intersection condition on mu and therefore mu should be greater than or equal to tan theta so that's our cute little problem uh, i hope you enjoyed the analysis and if you enjoyed the analysis please do give a thumbs up to my video and please share this video as much as possible with your friends through whatsapp telegram discord or whatever medium you might use for networking with your fellow students preparing for je or olympiads and most importantly if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel right now hit that subscribe button uh, because that's what keeps me motivated to do a new video every day thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all thank you